everyone and um, today I'm going to show you my technique for fluid nail art which I think um, uses a lot less polish I feel like some of the other methods are kind of wasteful this method I also feel is a lot cleaner you end up with a lot less like on your skin and although I'm using a bit of liquid latex around my nails you'll find that not too much of it is wasted um, just because it's dripping off so um, so I'm going to show you what I've got today so I've prepped my nails with um, some liquid latex from Rainbow Connection my base colour and I'll be using inner fluid art as well is A England and this is Captive Goddess it's really pretty kind of gunmetal hollow and it really shifts between turquoise blue and pink it's really pretty I'm using two of the transforming top coats from Simple Colours um, this is Pear Punk um, so it's kind of a lilac-y purple I've got this sort of dark concrete grey which is called Concrete Jungle that's another one from Simple Colours so the tool I'm using today is from Twinkle Tea. I've got this via Rainbow Connection, but I think it's out of stock at the moment. Um, and this is a originally a burnishing tool. You can kind of see from all the glitter it's still stuck on the end of it. Um, so it's like a silicone kind of tip. You can use a flat brush as well, but I think this is a bit easier. Um, what I'm going to be doing is using it to kind of scoop the polishes up off this bit of foil. Um, and kind of pour them onto my nail and let the colours go across my nail and work across my nail. Um, and so this is what I'm going to be using to pick up the polish. So here we go. Okay, so I've got my little pile of polishes. Try again with scooping it up on this tool. So that's looking a lot better. You can see the colours are starting to separate on this pile as well. On this side. So I'm just holding my nail at a bit of an angle just to encourage the polishes to flow down my nail. You can see that that's separating really nicely and just sort of I'm seeing that pink through it. I'm just going to help it sort of down the nail just at the corner of the tool. What 
What you do, don't add a kind of blob of polish straight from the bottle onto the nail, because what you'll find is it doesn't kind of create cells in the same way. It just kind of creates a big blob of the polish, even if you use one of the simple kind of top coats. Um, it, it just doesn't seem to work. And you can see from some of my um, photos from my kind of original run that it didn't really work out the same. So you can see I've got some nice kind of cells and streaks going on on this nail. So what I'm going to do now is just do a bit of clean up. brush that I'm using is from Rainbow Connection as well, um, same place that I got the latex from. It's their angled um, cleanup brush, it's nice and fat um, and it's holding up well against acetone which is nice. So I think that's pretty good. Just gonna peel that latex off now. So there we go, we've got some nice fluid nail art, um, kind of cool greys and pinks, um, with a bit of that gunmetal turquoise hollow showing through as well. Um, so that's my solution to doing fluid nail art with the kind of least amount of mess and not using up too much polish either. Hope you enjoy it, bye!